Oh, what's up guys, it's Jukes, and welcome to another Foot Champions recap video. So, here are the teams I used uh, throughout the past weekend. So we have the Messi, Neymar, Suarez team. Pretty much unchanged, if you follow me on Twitter, this is how the team has looked uh, for like the past month or so. And then we also have the Ronaldo and Bale team. Uh, again, pretty much unchanged as well. So I know I mentioned in the last uh, video in the comments of the last recap video that I rotated two th rotated two teams uh, throughout the weekend league. So I did that this weekend, except for the last four games. I only used the Ronaldo and Bale team because I didn't want to get off to slow starts. Uh, because I'm 36 and 0. This is the best start I've ever had in the weekend league. So I need four more wins to go that 40 and 0. So in our first of last four games, we come up against the 4-3-2-1 team. Pretty decent team. Nothing amazing. Uh, his front three is pretty deadly. He's got Walcott, Remy, and Quadrados. So we have to watch out for that pace. But as per usual, uh, we try to get off to good starts, and we end up doing that again in this game. So we get the ball with Bale, we accelerate uh, inside, and then no touch outside, and then just an easy far post finish with Bale. Uh, it's kind of been a theme throughout the past two weekend leagues for me, getting off to uh, amazing starts. I think in even in this past weekend, I think I've only... Uh, gone behind in like maybe three or five of my games like three to five of my games in almost every single game I've ended up taking the lead um you know getting off to good starts in the weekend league is crucial because you can uh, force your opponent to open up more so we get the chance for Ronaldo here and we I thought I got past him and I was gonna get the shot off I'm kind of amazed he went for the uh, sliding tackle there the risk that he took there but it paid off for him so we get the ball with Pogba here I did a power shot there but he ends up doing the finesse animation I don't know why uh it's pretty annoying that your players can sometimes do the finesse animation but um uh, what can you do so we get the ball with Bale here I honestly, looking back in hindsight, I should have went forward with Bale and just taking the shot with Bale instead of slowing down and playing it to Conte and then taking a first time shot with Conte. Um, Conte doesn't have the best shooting in this game and first time shots in general are ineffective this year, but it pays off and the opponent ends up rage quitting. So in our next game, we come up against another 4-3-2-1 team, a pretty, uh, better team than the last opponent. So he's got a pretty good midfield, uh, a good front three again and a good back four. So, Actually, we get off to another good start. Uh, off the ensuing corner kick, we get the ball with Bale, threaded through ball to Ronaldo. We do one knock on there. We kind of slow down a bit, do a complete fake shot, uh, 180 there, and then we get the ball back to Bale, and then another uh, far post finish. So again, we get off to good starts. Um, Usually what I try to do if I get the ball even from kickoff right away in the weekend league, I try to like immediately go for the goal. Uh, just because usually your opponent will not expect it. And also, I feel like kickoffs, the way kickoffs work this year, the defensive AI kind of goes AWOL, so you can always try to get the goal off, uh, get the goals off easier from kickoff. But we end up conceding a corner, pretty bad defense throughout that sequence there up top. It just committed badly for him to get space in behind, and then he ends up getting the corner and... Uh, Courtois comes out, didn't even call him to come out, and um, he ends up equalizing. So, not much I could have done on the corner itself. I could have defended way better to prevent him from getting the corner, but uh, what can he do? So, we get to the ball here. We lose it sloppily with Bale ended up holding sprint for that first touch. He ends up doing kind of a random uh, lob through ball there, but he gets it back. He kind of just waltz through my defense. I switched players late twice there, first with Otamendi, then with Smalling. And he ends up taking the lead, so I'm annoyed. I went up 1-0, I was uh, playing pretty well, and he kind of comes back with two goals. Two sloppy goals, like, could have prevented him much better. And especially with that corner, you know, Courtois coming out without me calling him to come out. Definitely annoying to concede. So we end up making subs. We sub on Messi and uh, inform Salah uh, for De Bruyne and Griezmann. So... Opponent ends up waiting a bit. I don't think he made any subs here from what I remember. So, um, we get, make those, those are usually my go-to subs with this team. Messi, uh, at Cam and then inform Salah on the left for De Bruyne. So we switch to balance. That's usually what I do if I go behind in the weekend league. Like I start off on defensive and then switch to balance just to, uh, make it easier to get the, or to get the equalizer. So pretty kind of chaotic sequences here. We try to, 
we're kind of blindly rush forward, but we get the ball back. So we get it to Bale, back to Pogba, then back to Bale. So we no touch accelerated, and I have no idea why he pulled his keeper out there. I don't think, um, I mean, he kind of had it pretty much covered. So even if I got past his defender, his keeper could have saved it. He pulls his keeper out and just gives me a much better angle for the shot. So definitely a mistake on his part there. I'm not sure why he wanted to do that. So we move the ball around nicely here. We're shield off with Messi. We get it to Conte here. We could have taken that shot with Conte, but Conte doesn't have the greatest shooting, so I decided not to. So wanted to work the ball around for a better shot. We finish that with Messi, but his keeper ends up making a pretty nice save. So off the ensuing corner, we always take it short. We get it to Ronaldo. We kind of lull him with that first touch, kind of going nowhere, and then we just accelerate towards the left, and he gets a nice far post finish. So we get the lead back, pretty happy about that. Uh, moving on into the second half now. Once I cut inside there with Ronaldo, I'm thinking I'm going to go up 4-2 because I know Bale's going to be on the end there of that pass. I'll drag his defender towards Ronaldo and then release it to Bale. But he ends up making a very nice interception there, uh, unfortunately for me. But uh, he gets on the attack, he loses it slobbily. We get it back again. We get the ball to Messi here, and I don't know what his defense <laughs> was doing there. He just kind of lets me waltz through with Messi. We take that shot with Messi. It could have gone in, uh, but fortunately, we also get the rebound with Bale. So we go up 4-2. Uh, moving on into the 80th minute, we're two goals up now. Nice ball to Ronaldo there. Then we actually do a reverse body thing, which ends up working shockingly this year. We get it back to Pogba, but he had like three players there, and there was... No chance that I was going to get through, but that, that game actually ends up finishing 4-2. So moving on, we come up against another 4-3-2-1 team. <laughs> three straight. Uh, this guy is another good team as well. Pretty uh, good front three, midfield. Uh, everyone using Conte, of course. <laughs> so again, we try to, like I said, we try to score quickly if we can. Um... We lose the ball cheaply, but we do end up getting it back. We uh, driven past that with to Ronaldo, and then some nice L two R to work with Ronaldo. We get past his defender, accelerate, and then an easy far post finish with Ronaldo. So opponents on the attack here. He ends up shielding nicely with Martial there. Shields again with Martial. I'm just kind of patiently waiting for the right moment to strike, and it's right there with Kriesman. So we get it to Pogba. Get it to Bale, to Ronaldo, and then just watch this solo special with Ronaldo. So it was just basically L2 shielding and then uh, cutting inwards and outwards uh, to create the space. But, I mean, it is Ronaldo who's capable of the amazing. That was probably one of the best solo goals I've scored this year. So uh, very nice goal there with Ronaldo. So we're two goals up. I'm trying to get the third. Uh, could have been a foul with Pogba there, but the ref does not call it. So... He's on the attack here, he evades my Conte twice nicely, and he plays it through to his Conte, but ends up skying the shot. If that was a player who had better shooting than Conte, it might have gone in. So, we're moving on to the second half now, we're still two goals up. Um, could have been a foul there, but the ref lets the advantage play. We get it to Walker here, we lose the ball cheaply with Walker. I noticed Walker is out of position, so I just tried to run back immediately with Ronaldo to try to get the ball back, and we end up succeeding. Driven past to De Bruyne, we shield uh, off his two defenders there, create space, and then we bang it into the far post. We go three goals up, pretty much game over at this point. Um, so I'm just trying to score more goals if I can. <laughs> um, I, I don't like protecting the leads in the weekend league just because of how the game is. You know, your opponent can score one goal randomly out of nowhere, so we get the ball around here. Uh, move it nicely with Ronaldo and Bale. Then we driven past that to Ronaldo at the end. So he actually does the finesse shot animation there, even though I power shot it, but it ends up working in our favor now. Uh, we get it to De Bruyne here. So we, De Bruyne there. We shield and then accelerate and shield and then accelerate. And we set up that nice far post finish with De Bruyne. So five goals up. Pretty much I mean, game over. I think it was game over once we got that third goal. Um, we we'll play nice defense on our opponent there. We concede the throw-in, though, and then on this throw-in, I have no idea why I was passing that first time with Rose there. I should have just shielded, his off, uh, shielded him off and just progressed play after that because he wasn't really pressing me or anything, so I have no idea why I did that uh, first time pass there. But um, he ends up nicking the ball off me and gets it to Conte. Gets kind of a lucky bounce back to Conte, and I don't know why I did try to go for the manual tackle there, and we end up conceding the penalty. 
and he slots it away nicely with Dybala, so he gets the goal back, it's 5-1, but that is how the game ends up finishing, so we are 39-0, and last game, and we come up against the 5 at the back, I'm thinking, what are the odds, I did not, I don't think I played a single 5 at the back team all weekend, and of course we end up playing 5 at the back team in our last game, so 39-0, and I need one more win to go 40 0. So off the corner here, we um, probably should have lost that ball with Ronaldo there, but that was a pretty heavy uh, fake shot. But we get it to Griezmann to Otamendi. We actually double tap that, so we did a driven uh, driven finesse finish, but it ends up hitting the pace because Otamendi's finishing isn't the greatest. Uh, luckily, we get the ball back here. We get it to Ronaldo and just look at that finish. He's just been a monster for me recently, especially in the weekend league, too. I feel like he doesn't. Well, I mean, he always performs, but in the weekend league, he just kind of goes up to another level. But um, So we take the lead. I'm thinking, all right, we're going to get this win and just look at his terrible defense here. I, I actually think the delay kind of screwed me with De Bruyne there. I was passing that, but no excuses for that defending. I just kind of had like a brain freeze. I wasn't sure what to do. The nerves were maybe, maybe got the best of me there. So conceded a stupid goal, terrible defending, and I'm like... Super angry, so I just kind of blindly rush forward here, try to score back, score one back right away, and it actually ends up working. Uh, much like my defending, his defending was just kind of MIA there. I have no idea what he was doing. He just let me, he kind of lets me waltz through the same way I let him waltz through, but, um, we get the lead back, so I don't want to rest on this 2-1 lead. I want to get that third if I can. So we get it to Ronaldo here. I could have maybe chipped that with Ronaldo, but I didn't want to take the risk. I wanted to, um, I wanted to go for the power shot there. Then we get it back to Ronaldo in the box. And I wanted to shield that, but I have no idea why. I just thought he wouldn't go for the tackle right away. So I actually delayed the shield there, even though if I did the shield right away, it could have opened up another opportunity for me. So I cheaply lost the ball there. But we end up getting the ball back. We get the ball with Ronaldo here. Get away from his defender. I'm thinking I'm going to go 3-1 up. But we end up missing with Ronaldo. It looked like he did the finesse animation when I wanted to do a power shot. But... Unfortunately, we could not capitalize there, so he ends up doing a random lop through ball. Uh, he gets it, wins the header with Martial, then gets it back to Martial, and I'm thinking that was an impossible angle, but that was definitely way too close. So, you guys see the stats there. We are dominating, but we're still only two goals, uh, two one up. So, we end up making pretty much our routine changes for this team. We get Messi on for Griezmann, and then Salah on for De Bruyne. So, I want to push and try to get that uh, two-goal lead. Do not want to rest on the one-goal lead. You know, anything can happen in this game. Plenty of time left, and the opponent uh, has shown he's capable of creating chances as well. So, we get the ball here to Ronaldo. We escape again. I'm thinking this is it. 3-1 up, and then we got hit with Ronaldo of all people. We cannot get that two-goal lead. I'm, like, desperately trying to get it. So, we play pretty good defense here. Uh, get the ball with Conte. We're moving forward. I want to get that third goal. Uh, his defense is slightly out of position, so I try to attack fast here. We get the ball with Bale here. Get a bit lucky that it kind of bounced back to Bale. We shield off his smalling there nicely with Salah. We get it to Ronaldo, and we finally get that third goal. We kind of lull people with that first touch, kind of not really going anywhere. Then we kind of slightly accelerate to open up the far post angle. So we finally get that two-goal lead. Uh, I get a bit lucky there that it bounces back right to me. We get it with Pogba. We're slowly playing it around here. We get it to Conte again, to Messi again. Get a bit lucky that it falls back to me again with... Uh, uh, I think that was Walker there. So we get it to Ronaldo, to Bale. Kind of choked on that. Should have put more power behind that and could have gone up uh, by three goals. Again, we're on the attack. I want to try to make sure this game is definitely over with. So we move the ball around nicely here. We get it to Conte. And I should have went on the outside with Conte there. It was completely wide open, but I wanted to play it inside uh, to Bale. So he ends up pausing the game here. You guys can see the stats pretty much in control, but still want to try to get that fourth goal if I can. So I actually end up checking his formation here, and he actually switched to the 4-3-3 attack. I don't know if he made the switch right away at the start of the game or at halftime or even just recently in the second half, but... um. So I, once I saw that, I know I have a lot more space to attack, so I'm still going forward, trying to get that fourth goal. Ends up fouling Rose there, we end up getting the penalty. So I'm going to take the penalty with Ronaldo. I don't think I ended up getting the arrow. Yeah, I did not end up getting the arrow, but no worries, it's Ronaldo. We go top left and check does not end up saving it. So 
we end up getting the fourth goal. We're four one up, and that is how the game ends up finishing. So as you guys can see, we were actually the uh, I was actually the first person to get forty wins on PS4. I was ranked first at the time. I got forty wins. Uh, we ended up dropping to fourth because two people had more skill points than me, and uh, there was one person who had the same amount of skill points as me, but he was ahead because of a tiebreaker. I don't know what the tiebreaker is. But uh, yeah, guys, we finally ended up achieving that goal of 40 wins out of 40. Very happy with how the weekend was for me. Um, that is pretty much the end of this video, guys. If you guys liked it, I'd appreciate a thumbs up as always. Thanks a ton for watching, and I will catch you guys next time.